Good morning. Um, the week has been crazy. I haven't um, come out and done things like I wanted to, mostly because when the holidays come, I get really overwhelmed with other things that I need to do and end up, you know, being obsessed with that. Right now, I'm in a place where I really don't even want to cook for my own self because I've just done so much this week. So um, anyway, I'm Witch Michelle. If you're on my YouTube channel, if you wouldn't mind hitting the subscribe button, um, add some comments, whatever. Tell me about your shadow work journey as I let you experience mine. <laughs> so today is Sunday and it's the wind down of the week and this week's theme uh, was Cali and it was shaking down to the foundations. Um, and I felt like mostly that that card was pretty self-explanatory that if you want to bring in something different into your life, if you want things to change into your life, you have to make some changes yourself. So you kind of have to break things up, move things around, you know, get stuff out of the way, clear some energies, do what you have to do to make space for the new stuff that comes. So this morning, um, what do you have for me? What message do you have for me? Was that what I asked? And as I began shuffling the cards immediately, two jumped out at me. Uh, one was the Eight of Discs, which is skillful perseverance. And the other one was the Teacher of Swords, which would be the Queen of Swords, Inquiring Mind. Um, so what does that mean? It means that as this, I move through this process of cleansing energies in my own life, home, family, uh, workplace, through my spirituality, the dark parts of myself. I need to not be just myoptic about the things that I'm trying to clear out of the way. I need to pay attention to myself and to others and to how I'm moving through those people, not like a, a bull in a china shop, but you know, mindfully and skillfully like cats those videos of cats when people put down dominoes or things for them to walk through and they get through those little things and they don't knock a thing down that's what the skillful perseverance card says to me that that i need to look at things with my head when the with whatever I encounter to, with curiosity, whatever it is, and think about things and be, you know, almost a scientific approach to the problem or the event that I'm encountering and not just take things on, on faith, but actually think about why do I believe the things that I believe and why do I think the things that I think and why do I why do I do the things that I do need to come from my mind? It's time to think clearly and deeply. It's time to check my assumptions. Callie asks and demands that we take time, take things down to the foundation. So yesterday I started my house cleaning. I picked up the sage and the Palo Santo and I walked in and out of my house with those items and started cleaning. Um, how I did that is personal to me, and I don't feel like I want to share that part of it with you. But I didn't, w when I realized, a friend and I had talked about what, what needed to be done, and I sat for a few days going, I have no fucking idea what I'm going to do to start this house cleaning process. I have no idea. And, um, she said, when it, when it happens, when, the, when you, when you, when it when the, the the idea comes to you you're gonna know that this is the thing that you need to do and i um i actually ordered stuff off of amazon black candles to do this with and i don't even think i really need them though i am going to use them when they get here tomorrow but um she was right i the stuff was right on my desk <laughs> at the palo santo and the um in the sage and i just grabbed that and the words just came as I walked in and out of the house doing the, the, the cleansing that needed to be done. Um, and it was just about cleansing. It had, there was no particular thing I didn't want to, I wasn't talking about 
me or anyone else. I was just taking things back to like a factory reset. That's really what I felt like I needed to do yesterday. And this morning in my meditation, I reinforced the factory reset. Um, when you're trying to make serious changes in your life, you have to make sure that you're being mindful of yourself, that you're being mindful of other people, that you don't neglect the things that, that need to be done. It's real easy to get caught up in things. And so you have to know when to, s <laughs> I keep that fucking Kenny Rogers song. You got to know when to hold them, know when to fold them, know when to walk away and know when to run. There's times to be quiet. There's times to, to move forward, even though you're exhausted, you have to pay attention to all of those things. I think this part of my of my shadow work where I'm, I'm starting to wind down now there's less of it in front of me than there was bef before and um, so I think that it's just time to really pay close attention and choose what things need to be tended tended to and what things don't what things are my business and what things are not what needs to be cleansed and what needs to be removed all of those things are really super important and to be skillful and inquiring curious loving and stand up for who I am I found my voice this week I was very uncomfortable in having to stand up for myself once this week it's not something I like to do I know that a lot of you who know me might think holy shit that's not true but it really is I I get very uncomfortable when it's serious and it's with people that I care about when I have to put a boundary up that is hard for me to do because for 58 years I have not done that I have pretty much let most anybody push me into situations and things I really didn't want to do and I have accepted disrespect ungratefulness unkindness to just be thrown at me and take it as this is what I deserve because this is what love is and I know now that that's not really what it is and I know that when those things happen that my reaction is different than they used to be and that I am so proud of myself for where I've come from to where I am today because so many things could have happened differently this week and I I, I actually was peaceful in my resolution in conflict and that was huge for me I stood up for myself in more ways in my business and in my home life than I ha ever have mo in my in most of my life and I keep going back to that moment at Home Depot if, if you've been following along you know the story when I had to confront my cousin and that I think it was a pivotal moment in my self-love journey of being able to look at people and take their bullshit and send it right back to them and say that's not how it was you might have seen things that way but on my end the receiving end of what was happening it wasn't like that let me show you what it was like and then tell them that they don't get to tell me anything anymore that was a beautiful moment for me and I keep I just I like to relive it that's why I like to talk about it so much <laughs> so anyway Tomorrow is a new week and a new card, and I have appointments um, to get through, and it's the last week of the year, and I want to plan things out in my bullet journal for, for 2021. I want to reflect on 2020 and what this year has done for me, and even though we've had this horrible pandemic and there's been all of the I'm not discounting any death or sickness or sadness or anything that any of us have gone through because there's been a lot of loss and a lot of pain and a lot of suffering financially most emotionally mentally spiritually for all of us but man did it give me a moment to sit down and really reflect on my mental illness on my spirituality on my physical um, 
goals and triumphs and I'm not I'm lonely about I'm, I'm not lonely but I'm I'm sad for what we lost but I'm happy for what I gained and I don't know that if without the pandemic I would have really sat down and took all this time to really go inward and take a good hard look at myself and try to fix those things that were dysfunctional and harmful to other people and I encourage you if you've not done that because there's still time we're still in the pandemic to really sit and be with yourself and learn about things if there's stuff you want to learn if there's things about yourself you want to change this is a perfect time to do that because everything else is what it is I talked to one of my friends last night who's out of work he's been out of work since March and you know he's got kids it's difficult but he's doing what he can and he he's working on himself and we all have struggles through this we all do and some are worse than others some of some other people's struggles could make you start to think about the blessings that you have I know it's worked that way for me Take some time to sit with yourself and be quiet. Feel the feelings, invite them in, make friends with all of that stuff. And then do what you have to do to shake things up from the core to build something new. I hope you have a good Sunday.